Hey there everybody and welcome to the channel. I'm your host Pubo Rama and in today's video I'm going to be talking about a massive massive tip I learned the other day when it comes to upgrading cars as a lower level than 100. I'm currently on my broke to billions account where as you can see I'm level 71. Unfortunately as being a level 71 you don't get the luxuries of fully upgrading your car. I have a couple Benny's cars that I really want to fully upgrade but I can't. I have the Nero and I own the Itali G to be custom, but I just literally cannot get all the options on them because you have to be up to like rank 90 to get some of the spoilers. And one of the bigger problems is not being able to get EMS engine upgrade level 4, turbo, or full transmission. Now thankfully because I did just reach rank 70, I can finally get transmission level 4, but that doesn't help with the engine upgrades. You're going to notice, I'm going to get into LS customs right here, I'm going to try and upgrade my vehicle, here we go, let's just repair it real quick. And an engine I can't get it unfortunately and if we make our way all the way over to other options let's say like transmission yes I can get this because I'm rank 70 but turbo that's a big old no I have to go up another 30 levels to get my hands on turbo which will be at least another couple days and that's kind of painful nobody wants to wait hours upon hours of grinding in this game to get their hands on level 100 I mean I have been playing non-stop on this account and I'm still only rank 70 after about two weeks of playing so yeah yeah, for the average player to get to rank 100, it's probably at least a month or two, and that's pretty painful, but one of my subscribers told me that apparently the auto shop, you can get all EMS engine upgrades, turbo, and everything as an extremely low level instantly unlocked. I wasn't sure about this because I've never played GTA as a very low level, so I wanted to test that out. So this here is my Paragon R Armored, I really wanted to get my hands on this car because I think it looks amazing, and well, we're going to head right into the auto shop and find out. So here we go, I purchased the auto shop, just did the uh, Kosatka, did a Kaoprico heist, so let's just see. Okay, well I can already tell you that I was not able to purchase armor upgrade 100% previously, so that's pretty big, and I wasn't able to get racing brakes either, wow, so I can actually just get these and wow all the bumpers are unlocked as well okay that's actually huge i did not think that i was going to be able to unlock all this but uh yeah that that changes a lot so now i can just fully upgrade my car that is actually amazing i really didn't know that was a thing but uh yeah there you go engine upgrade level four let's take a look at exhaust i can fully upgrade the exhaust so not only can you upgrade like the engine upgrades but you can un upgrade everything on your vehicle that you previously weren't able to like the hood that i've really wanted to get my hands on so now i can finally get the racing hood which looks great in my opinion and then we can go to liveries although i think i had all the liveries unlocked previously roll cage i can put this in my car i don't really actually like putting roll cages maybe there's a reason why i didn't but that's actually super nice that i can and finally fully upgrade my vehicle. Something else you can unlock with the auto shop is resprays. I didn't actually realize this until I started looking at color options, but gasoline green and lime green are both very annoying to get your hands on, but they are some of the nicest colors in the game. I didn't realize this, but as you can see, the auto shop unlocks all of the metallic paint jobs that you have to do racing to unlock. That is a huge savior. I would definitely definitely suggest if you don't have these unlocked this is the way to do it because uh, i've i've been waiting all right well that's uh that's honestly amazing i can get suspension level five or whatever the max one is we can get race transmission turbo tuning oh my that's that's actually insane now when it comes to getting your hands on the auto shop it's definitely not the cheapest auto shops uh, Tournament Aware, mine was like 2 million. This is the one I really wanted. Location is definitely king sometimes. And this auto shop is by far the closest to like my office building, my nightclub, my agency. As you'll notice when I go on my phone, I've purchased a lot of properties down to just where they are because this is my nightclub, and then obviously my main agency and everything is also over here. Unfortunately, when it comes to the auto shops, you'll notice they're all towards this part of the town, and they're not even cheaper here. That one's 1.7 million, this one's 1.7, this one's the cheapest at 1.67 million, 1.9, and then the one I got's like 2.1 million, but uh, they're, they're not really super expensive. If you do like one Kaoprico heist, you can very easily get your hands on like this auto shop here for 1.67 million 
$1 million in, I don't think that's a terrible location. All you're using the auto shop for, in my opinion, is an LS Custom. And you don't need to purchase any of the other upgrades. You don't need to get looks, you don't need to get a tint on it, you don't need to get an emblem, staff, you don't need, you don't need extras either. All you need is to buy the auto shop and you unlock it. So, it is a pretty hefty price tag of $1.67 million, but I mean, it is pretty insane that now I'm able to fully upgrade all of my cars on engine, turbo tuning, transmission, suspension. I mean, it really has been a bit painful for me to not be able to upgrade my cars, but wow, it's already so much faster on the handling. Now, I do want to thank one of my subscribers for pointing this out to me. I don't remember exactly who it was, but the other day I posted a video talking about electric cars and why electric cars are a fantastic buy if you're trying to save money when you first start off in this game, because obviously, electric cars you can only put an engine upgrade on you can't do transmission you can't do turbo as it's an electric vehicle it doesn't get those types of things in the car's engine so because of that it is a great tip I still suggest by the way to get an electric car if you're a low level because then you don't need to spend a lot of money on upgrading it and waiting or buying an auto shop but if you do really like cars like me and you're kind of bummed out that you can't always drive them super fast with your friends then the auto shop is a fantastic way to fully upgrade your vehicles in Grand Theft Auto 5 online. Now you might be asking, if you're over level 100, is the auto shop still a good investment? And personally, I believe yes. Now it's not because of the missions you can make like 170,000 for. I've known about those for a while, and I'm gonna be real, they're kinda dookie. You can just do like two payphone hits from Franklin and make the same amount of money in way less time. No, the real reason why the auto shop is just a great major investment in general is if you're going to upgrade any vehicle. For example, Race brakes, I am saving money on. Bumpers, I can fully save money on if I want to put a carbon splitter. Engine upgrades, I'm saving money on. And that's the case for every upgrade in the game. If we take a look at turbo, turbo tuning to fully upgrade this car is 47,500, but normally, if you know, it's 50,000 at LS Customs. That means that all the purchases I've just got so far, I have saved 5% on each four. So transmission, another 5%. Competition suspension, another 5%. Even when it comes to the spoilers, if I were to buy any of these, I'm saving 5% of my money. That is huge when you think about it. Skirts, I actually do want to put skirts on it because I haven't upgraded these yet. There you go. Nice. And, uh, I mean, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I've now fully upgraded my armored Karuma and, uh, saved probably 25% of the money I normally would have invested on the car with upgrades because I've bought an auto shop. Now, that's probably in total, if I would say each upgrade's around 20,000, you're saving 5%, so let's say you're saving 1,000 on each upgrade you get, then that's not bad. If I do 100 upgrades, I'm saving 100 grand. And judging that each car I probably upgrade at least 10 things on, that's only 10 cars. I already own 20 cars on this account. So I'm very easily going to be making back the money I've spent on that auto shop just by upgrading vehicles. I personally believe that the auto shop is actually a pretty good investment as long as you do spend a lot of money on your vehicles. If you don't, then I wouldn't suggest to necessarily own the auto shop. It's not going to save you a lot of money if you don't obviously have anything to spend the money on. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. This was something that I really wanted to make because I do think that it is pretty helpful when it comes to being lower than level 100. Thank you very much to my subscribers for letting me know. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do consider pressing that subscribe button and clicking that like button down below as it does help the channel out. I'm really trying not to do any clickbait and just trying to help out the general GTA community. But as always, if you'd like to see more like this, as I said, you know what to do. I'll be seeing you in the next one and please let me know if this did help you out. Bye-bye.